Yo, Explorers, my name's Eric Casey. I'm a 26-year-old guy who's uh, a Christian, and uh, I make travel videos on YouTube, and I've been working my butt off, doing everything I possibly can to succeed at this whole van life thing, as you can see on my shirt, since I quit farmer permanently on September 4th, 2017. So, if you want to check out my whole story, I have some other videos on my channel. As you can already see, I've done a lot. And if you do follow me, you've been hearing that I've been talking about this whole trip I'm going to go on on September 1st. And currently, it is almost 4 o'clock, you can probably see on my phone there, on Sunday, July 12th. It's going to get dark and take about 5 hours, which will be like 9 o'clock. And if you guess correctly, I am officially going on my West Virginia cycle ride. <laughs> because I learned one thing in my life. If you want something, go get it. Those who sit around and contemplate miss opportunities. And I'm not, I'm not about to miss crap. I officially realized at a certain point, patience becomes delusion. And I don't care what any other humans say, I can believe whatever I want. Obviously I believe in God and all that stuff and I believe I'll be going to heaven. And I don't want to get into all that philosophical stuff. <laughs> But, here's the deal, I pretty much have everything ready that I need to go. I've been ready for a while, so real quick, before I show you my travel gear setup, I just wanted to mention, I spent over three months planning this trip, and I started planning it back on March 21st of this year. I've also spent nearly 1300 US dollars in everything I need. This trip is going to be about 1300 miles in 25 days uh, by riding an average of 52 miles each day got everything I planned out God called me to go on this trip and uh, this whole pandemic is over <laughs> I don't care what people say I don't care what people do forget the whole damn thing I'm going on this trip no matter what so that's pretty much my plan <laughs> it's going to be 25 total episodes so please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it and if you saw the trailer to this series, I kind of had a little tiny idea of what to expect, and I've been ready, I'm super excited, buddy. Whew, well, let me tell you, man, it's definitely been a while and ride. So, here's my setup. This is my bike. It's an Anshir electric bike from Amazon. It used to get 15 miles range, and it can go a maximum of 15 miles an hour, but I upgraded it and put this big black battery on there. <laughs> Now I get 28 miles range and can go a maximum of 25 miles an hour. I also swapped out the front wheel for the right size and so my brakes can work. My tripod goes in this thing and I have a GoPro up here. The display for the thing is right there. I have the stakes to my tent strapped onto here. Obviously there's the battery. The charge controller is in this thing which is all duct tape up. Which is awesome and it's waterproof. I have some uh, clothes and two chargers in the other uh, side of my pan here and some drinks and tools in here and then I have some towels inside my tarp and obviously I'll be covering my bike up with the tarp when I'm camping at some churches and that's pretty much the whole trip I'll be at churches which is cool spending the night and now moving on to my two bags I have my tent and that green earth pack thing along with my air mattress and electric air pump and then I have my laptop electronic stuff and some snacks and just other random stuff in my backpack. Also along with pepper spray just in case. So I'm pretty sure I have everything ready that I need. So I'm just going to hit the road. And I think I only have three hours to film because it's going to be getting dark. So super excited. I'm going to stop the lane and hit the road now buddy. Goodness, I just made it down here to the secret high train bridge just down here on High Bridge Road Explorers. Oh my goodness. Also, I wanted to mention that if you're interested in like the miles cycled and stuff like that, uh, the road trip data will be in the description of every single episode because I don't really feel like uh, 
like mentioning how far I have to go or anything like that. Like, what's the point? <laughs> Didn't enough that on my last trip. Also, I pretty much only have $9 a day on food to spend out here, and that's fine because my level of starvation for success outweighs my hunger for food, and I'll be totally fine. And besides, the human body can last like multiple days without food anyway, and I have plenty of drinks in my uh, backpack and stuff, and there's water down there, so. I just made it down here to Petunia Road and uh, with them. Look at this. <laughs> I decided to stop here to show you guys the Interstate 81 Bridge. <laughs> Look at that. It's freaking amazing. I just came from back here. About to go that way. Keep watching. <laughs> because this is freaking exciting. You know? Like I said earlier, I still can't believe I'm leaving today. <laughs> but I'm freaking ready for this, yo. <laughs> Look at that. That thing is freaking crazy looking. Here's the old buildings. As you can see, it says Serco on it. <laughs> There's some kind of like orange, yellowish, rusted out construction equipment thing. <laughs> There's a glass pane busted out over there and it goes back that way too. And it's pretty much just a concrete building. <laughs> that looks pretty interesting. Looks like it probably has some pretty cool history back there. Obviously, I'm not going over to it. <laughs> Just filming it from a distance and it's five o'clock right now so i'm making pretty great time actually i'm hoping to be up there at big marker lookout by probably six <laughs> so about two hours i charge my bike but not too sure what else i'm going to mention about that in this series <laughs> i just thought i would mention it for this first episode and over here is another old building <laughs> right over here don't really know if I can give you that much of a view because everything's super overgrown right here. But it's just a normal old building. Over at 52. Oh, hi, buddy. Oh, hi, buddy. Oh, hi. I just found a cute bulldog right here at this abandoned building I wanted to show you. <laughs> Look at that. Does it look like there's much in there? Obviously, there's a fire property sign and stuff. And look at that. Oh, hi, buddy. Ooh, just to be rare for a second. I really don't like leaving this late in the day, but sometimes I've got to do what i got to do. <laughs> I'll have a whole day tomorrow in episode two. Be waking up at like six in the morning, <laughs> which will be super nice. But I just made it down here to the abandoned Dark Hollow picnic area right off of Route 52 in the Jefferson National Forest. And when I made my Brooks Garden video back in June 2019, I stopped here. And look at that. There's a love sign on the concrete. And uh, there's an old sign over here that looks like it was ripped off. <laughs> and then we have the creek down there with some fallen down trees. You also have a little path that goes to it. And obviously, here's my bike right over here look at that <laughs> looks super awesome and yeah super peaceful place i really like it you can come down here and explore and probably spend the whole day down here if you want to <laughs> uh but you can't drive down here because the gate is closed and i highly recommend it <sighs> but it feels so good to finally be out here now oh my goodness <laughs> This place is absolutely incredible.
Walker Lookout now. And if you enjoyed that B-roll, please comment below. And, uh, yep. <laughs> it's a pretty nice little picnic area down there. And obviously there's the Jefferson National Forest sign. On the way up here, I don't think I can show you right now because there's too many trees. But there's storm clouds up there at Big Walker Lookout. That do not look pleasing. <sighs> well, I made it as far as I could, as you can see on the display back there. <laughs> I pretty much have a two mile hike up to the Big Walker Lookout. <laughs> but check this out. I decided to stop here for a second to catch my breath and show you this abandoned old house. <laughs> Look at that thing. Looks more like a shack now. <laughs> it's pretty much completely dilapidated. I mean, the roof isn't that bad, but as you can see, you can kind of see inside of there. It's pretty interesting. And obviously I've been up here to Big Walker Lookout countless times. And my younger brother actually got an old like piece of like a window or something for my mom one time in the last six years. <laughs> but uh, yeah, <sighs> six o'clock right now. Hopefully I make it to the top by 6.30. And I'm not gonna be talking about any miles from here on out. <laughs> Obviously, as you can see, I made it up here to Big Walker Lookout, and it was a pain in the butt. My freaking bike is super heavy. Thought I was gonna die, but <laughs> I managed to make it up here, drinking some of my water, and obviously put my stuff down and plug my bike in for two hours. <laughs> I'll pretty much be going straight down that way, and I'm pretty sure I'll, it'll be charged enough to make it, because it's only about 10 miles to the church. <laughs> Uh, but it's super nice up here. <laughs> there's the view. Look at that. <laughs> it's massive. And here's the fence. And obviously the uh, Battle of Withfield sign. <laughs> and then this little boardwalk thing that goes over here to the tower. And if you enjoyed that funeral, please give a like to let me know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Would you look at this view, explorers? <laughs> Check that out. <laughs> Oh my freaking goodness. What? Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, dude. That is exactly why I'm still alive. Views like this is exactly why I do what I do. And if you hear that clicking, the time lapse is currently going. Just been chilling here drinking water. Introducing my ghetto travel gear setup underneath the Big Walker Lookout Pavilion. <laughs> That's pretty freaking hilarious. Look at that thing. I'm currently still here and it's like almost 9.30 just charging my laptop and exporting pictures for the time lapse for the end screen. And obviously my bike is still charging. Look at me. <laughs> this is freaking amazing. Oh my goodness. I love it out here so much. <laughs> it's a totally different world at night. 
Look at that tower. Oh my goodness. And I was seeing some lightning way over there in the, uh, the clouds. This is totally cool. Well, just made it to this abandoned side store. As you can see, it's just a simple white concrete building with a pretty cool style of roof and a cobblestone front right there. Two windows and one door. And it's dead silent out here, yo. <laughs> I'm in the middle of but nowhere. <laughs> Look at that. You probably can't see much right now, but that's the road. <laughs> All right, I know I have some creepy lighting right now, but check this out. It's currently 1145, and I just made it down here to Bastine, Virginia. Pretty much, I'm under this pavilion thing that they have here at the Bastine Union Church. So, here's my setup real quick. As you can see, it's freaking awesome. There's my tent, and I just blew up my air mattress. And obviously, there's my bike, and it's charging. And there's the many sets of picnic tables. <laughs> there's also a nice little stream down there that I'm going to check out in the morning. And I think that's pretty much it. So before I go, I wanted to give you a Bible verse of the day real quick. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whosoever believes in him shall have eternal life. John 3, 16. All right, I hope you enjoy that Bible verse. And I guess I'm just going to end it right here. So like always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next adventure.